I forgot my water. Go get your water, you dumb slut. This is how she treats me all the time. You this wretched is the truth of it, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she bash you in your face. <laughs> I was trying to come up with a third thing, and stupid canary was the first thing that came to mind. Is canary an insult that anyone uses? Um, I don't think so. I don't think so either. I don't. Canaries aren't treated particularly well, historically, no. right? No. Although I guess most of, of the mines. time, if the coal mine is going good, you just have a pet canary down there that people probably... I bet they get lots of little pieces of sandwiches. Yeah. and <laughs> People probably like it. Yeah. It's just a few unlucky canaries. Yeah. That's the show, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we got for you this week. <laughs> Harper's in charge of this one, so more of that to come. Oh, God. Uh, welcome to the Dirty Folk Podcast. It's a pleasure to have you. I am OnlyFans famous Harper the Fox. You're taking over the whole thing. You don't even let me do my intro. You got a question. You're running the... You're just taking it. You told me I was in charge of this one, so... <laughs> I, I, yeah, I take that and run. Who is my co-host? Who the fuck are you? Co-host? The host is Max Mooseman. <laughs> I thought we were both co-hosts. I don't know. I don't know. You can be the host if you You're want not very to. You confident. can wear that hat. I'm taking it back. Ladies okay. and gentlemen, work, welcome to the Dirty Folk Podcast. I'm Max Mooseman, joined by my lovely wife, Harper the Fox. That's me. That's you. See? This is how it's done. Oh, you can just cut that last part. We have an amazing show for you today. I think. Harper has a question for me. So <laughs> I'm actually bald face lying to you. It could be a terrible show. I have no idea what she's got in store. She looks nervous. She I am nervous. Seem confident. You asked me to write a question, and I assumed that it would not be used. But I, I think it's going to be a fun one nonetheless. <laughs> you gave, you told me you had one, so I was like, okay, I'm done. I don't have to do anything. You I gave should, me homework. I, you I were like, make up. it your responsibility to bring a question. So well, I did. All right. Well, what's your burning question? What do you want to know? Okay. Here, here's the sitch. You are going down on a woman that you are super excited to bang. Okay. Take a moment, visualize the scene. Okay. Everyone's horny. You're having a great time going down on a woman. You're very excited to bang. Suddenly and distinctly, mm. a voice deep inside her pussy starts talking to you. Okay. What do you do? Whose voice is it? These are the questions that we will explore. Um, it's a male voice. A male voice. See, I feel like I have a, an end round here because there was a time in my life that I heard voices pretty on the regular. <laughs> so I just sort of write it off. <laughs> do you not Do you not ask about it? No. You never ask about the voices. <laughs> if you ask about okay. the voices, the people come and put you in the white coats and take you away. You this have to be very, very quiet about the voices until they go away, and then you can talk about the voices. But before you, before the voices go away, you never, listen, kids, never talk about the voices. Kids, stop listening to this program immediately. <laughs> this is shocking to me. Why? I assumed when I formed this question that at least some time would be spent on how does this woman react to the question about the voice in her pussy and does she hear it too? Does she know there's a voice? Well, that's what you mean. You wait for her to acknowledge it. If she knows there's a voice, if she acknowledges the voice, then we can have a conversation about it. If she like, if she reacts to the voice somehow, then yeah, sure, we can talk about it. Okay, so you hear the voice and look hello there buddy and she says like ah yes that's that's philippe yeah where do you go from there she says oh that's philippe <laughs> <laughs> uh where do you go from there obviously i mean you have questions right yeah which i mean i guess you're you're probably too young did you ever see the movie tom thumb 
you're no, you're not talking about Thumbelina, right? No. Okay. Tom Thumb. Okay. Uh, I think Tom Thumb might have been a book before or something, but it's like a classic fable. Okay, but they made like a made-for-TV movie with like a you know green screen, shrunk down, amazing person. I loved it. I loved Tom Thumb. Mm-hmm. So I guess I'd be like, okay. So this is a seed of fantasy for the dudes who grew up to uh, love the giantess thing. I suppose so, but in some form or fashion, I guess my mind goes right to she's got a little Tom Thumb in her pussy. Okay. Which uh, I don't hate. It's not a threat, certainly. Okay, follow-up question. Uh Uh-huh. If you have sex with her while Philippe is in there, are you gay? No, definitely not. Even though your cock is bashing around in there and what what if his little tom if thumb i mouth... brutally kill a man while <laughs> having sex with a woman am i a homosexual no no he's just okay, i'm an so... extra man <laughs> <laughs> i am the ultimate man if i am defiling my enemies and killing them while banging their women you cannot be straighter than that okay but riddle me this you're not damaging him he's just poised expertly at the back of the vagina, sort of imagine like a flying squirrel Hiding posture. in fear from my dick? No, he's he's poised back there, uh-huh. mouth agape, ready to delicately lick the tip of your cock while you're fucking her. That's not going to work. Am I going to delicately lick an SUV as it backs <laughs> it up and like accelerates toward my face? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. If you Think of the physics, woman. Poised. Think of the physics. If you're going to put this tiny man in this pussy with my dick... Think it through. He's not going to time it perfectly and lick. Hmm. I'm not going to, my strokes aren't going to be consistent. I'm not going to hit the same spot every time. If he puts his face in that machine, it's getting chewed up. Okay. For sure. And then I'm going to drown his ass. Okay. In my cum. Okay. So. But he can come out and he can sit on her titties. (laughs) He can watch. Yeah. You're just going to make friends with Philippe? I would immediately make friends with Philippe. What? Yeah, you would. Why? I mean, I'd prefer, I mean, I'd ask him. He'd probably be offended, but I'd ask him if I can call him Tom. That's just my personal preference. <laughs> <laughs> probably gets that a lot, though. Yeah. But okay. yeah, because uh, why not? I mean, I assume if a, if a human is small enough, it must be okay to own them. So, I assume... <laughs> <laughs> so so I assume he's her property. <laughs> Do you disagree? I can't say I've ever thought about it. Uh-huh. Um I mean in a sense you like own your kids until they're of age they're until small. they're bigger i definitely own my kid hmm? i definitely own my kid <laughs> um i mean yeah i guess like in the same way that you can own livestock or a pet right because like if he's that little like you could easily overpower him like there's a fine live uh, y- Okay, human ownership, also called slavery, same deal, but, like, it's cute if he's, like, a fun pet. Well... And if he's happy. Is it called... I mean... Is is ownership the only thing necessary to call it slavery? Does a or compulsory does have job have to be there, too? I don't know. Okay, so ownership... This is this is an interesting. Like, is our dog a slave? I think it's a whole other thing when you get into like animals. But with people, if you have just trapped a person, and whether they're happy or not, if they can't leave if they want to, yeah. I feel like that's a kidnapping situation. Yeah, but not if they're small enough. That's what I'm saying. Not, <laughs> it's not kidnapping. <laughs> no, because they're What's not. What's the size not threshold? Really, people. I mean, this show's going to get a reputation as being anti-midget soon, which you know, is fair not enough. Entirely false. 
what is but your... although i will say all my come comments about midgets so far have been largely about how attractive they are unless they get too small <laughs> <laughs> but i'm I, talking about well, okay there is i think one midget in particular what yeah. What are you talking about? All these comments about how attractive midgets are. We had an episode about uh, with Abraham Lincoln, Lincoln, and fisting and midgets, and I we talked... had two episodes about that. That's right, and I talked a lot about the attractiveness of midgets and that there's a threshold where they're like too big or too small and okay. they stop being attractive. Yeah. We had this whole conversation. You I, this? I I recall the specific singular midget that you thought was hot but bridget the midget yes yeah but she's not the only one okay fair enough no i had a midget at my college who i thought was hot i was terrified okay. to talk to her though mm. I, I... <laughs> this is the masculine man who's murdering while fucking oh i Terrif was pretty i was pretty shy around girls mm. uh when i was a young man um Especially girls who were different than me. Mm -hmm. I, don't know, I just didn't think I'd speak her language. And all I want to talk about <laughs> is that she's a midget. It's uh -huh. like all I want to talk about. Like, you know, that's the thing. And uh, like, we just watched Anchorman 2 and and uh, Ron is just like, black, black. <laughs> yep. <laughs> like, that's what I would have been like with this midget. <laughs> <laughs> but I just was really found her very attractive. Mm -hmm. That being said, in terms of, I don't think midgets should or can be owned by us <laughs> by their betters <laughs> i didn't say betters that's i saw it in your eyes no you didn't you saw it in your own heart and you ascribed it to me <laughs> midgets okay. i'm talking about smaller a smaller human being than i've ever seen or that i believe could exist mm -hmm. but if you are a human where, would I, where do I have no problem and even say, like, ownership probably is wise? <laughs> I'm probably comfortable with 12 inches. For sure, six and under. I have, like, the opinion of owning one of them. Like, like you also own a goldfish. I don't care. <laughs> it's probably better for the goldfish. It's okay. probably better for... They have full language function. Yeah. Every appearance of mental capacity of an average to intelligent. Yeah. I'll put it past goldfish. It's like a dog. You 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 should be kind to it. Today's sponsor wants you to go fuck yourself. And you should take that advice because you're going to have a fucking fantastic time doing it. Our sponsor is, of course, the naughty little toy store dot com for all your sex toy and pleasure needs harper tell me what you found at the naughty little toy store.com well i found that they have prices lower than their competitors for the exact same fucking toys amazing there's toys for men there's toys for women i know a lot of you listening are men if you want to do something adventurous for your lady get her a toy from the naughty little toy store.com listeners of the dirty folk podcast get a special deal by entering code dirty folk at checkout you get upgraded to expedited shipping so you get to go fuck yourself faster thank you to the naughty little toy store.com for sponsoring the show okay uh but you probably so, shouldn't so go to jail you, you say it. you have no problem with this um let's let's walk it back this owned person let's say you hear just like stop anguished... calling him a person is so owned six inch person you hear anguished weeping from inside the pussy uh-huh and well look i just said i want them to treat them well I, i'm not gonna you I... said you have no problems with ownership with ownership i just said it's like a dog Okay. I said I said I'll take back the goldfish thing. It's like a dog, but goldfish okay. too. I don't like to see mis I don't like to see people mistreat their goldfish. But dogs, I'll I'll up it to the level of a dog. If I hear weep, it's like if your dog is like terrified and pissing on the floor okay. and whimpering, I'm probably like like not going to feel great when I have sex with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I want to judge, but I've had some of those. <laughs> Not specifically the dog thing, but things where it's like, 
I should not have fucked that person. I'm condoning something that's not okay. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm assuming I'm still single. I always put, for all these questions, I put myself back in single, but I also put myself back in like all the things that were true about me when I was single. Right. So I assume I'm like a dirty fucking monkey. And like, mm. I just spent like 12 of my $30 on beer getting this girl a little hammered. Mm-hmm. I've invested half of my net worth into <laughs> getting laid. <laughs> Uh, no tiny man crying in a vagina is going to stop me. I just won't feel awesome about it, and I pro- and I won't, I won't spend any more of my net worth on her. I'll find somebody else. Mm-hmm. Would it be important to you to get the crying tiny man out of her vagina before fucking her? Hmm. Well, I'll say this. Yeah. And if he didn't cooperate, my sympathies would quickly change. (laughs) So I could see myself getting to a point where I was like, well, fuck you then. (laughs) How many minutes of back and forth would it take? (laughs) Oh. No, I feel like you should comply with the request to get out of the vagina so you don't get fucked. I better hear movement like pretty immediately. <laughs> if you're gonna hold it hostage. No, yeah. Right. Less so than I'll two. Make it snappy. Less than two. <laughs> For sure. Are you erect during this conversation? Well, that's why it's less than two, so yeah. <laughs> You don't want to lose out on the stiffy. No. <laughs> yeah. It's it's going to be how I roll. It's going to be late. I'm going to be drunk. Mm-hmm. You're already walking a precarious line. Yeah. The stiffy, Whiskey dick could set in at any moment. might not come back. Yeah. I got to get fucking. Mm-hmm. You got to get out. Mm-hmm. Talk about your situation afterwards. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this implies too. But you think it, it, that you, like the conversation back and forth about this man also doesn't take very long. You're just sort of like gobble gobble gobble. Hear the voice like she acknowledges it. Like oh, that's interesting. So we doing this? Well, it's very odd. But what's there to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> Who is he? Where'd you find him? Why is he there? What what's his story? That all can't be covered after we fuck. See, I feel like if I if I put myself in the man's shoes here, like Which man? who this person is would matter to me. Why? I don't know. Cause it's a, because it's, I think he's still a person. He's not a goldfish. <laughs> Even if he's a person, he's functionally a roommate. Right, and if, if a roommate was like sitting like let's take it out of the inside of her context if a roommate is sitting in the room where the fucking is going to happen i'm not asking questions i'm telling him to get the fuck out or fuck it i don't care watch you fucking weirdo this is what you guys do all right see this is another i don't need their biography (laughs) it's not gonna help right okay yeah i'm see i have to also bring myself back to early 20s harper in this scenario because uh yeah yeah i want to think like oh for anyone who's going to be involved in the sex it's like important to me to like know a bit about them and like have some sense of trust but early 20s harper just be fucking yeah okay right so it's I mean, it's not that much different than her, she had the Discovery Channel on and some kind of weird animal I didn't know existed pops up. And I go, oh, shit, look at that. All right. Talk about, <laughs> file that one away. <laughs> <laughs> I would hang out and, like, smoke a joint with the guy afterwards. I'd be curious then. Then I'd want to talk to him. I definitely want to talk to the guy. Just, you roll know. the tiniest joint. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Just imagine him like as if he's holding a barrel. He's like, <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> yeah, man. But, but yeah, like, because I, I would definitely like want to hang out and talk. 
Mm-hmm. But I feel like after the fucking is over, a, you, you, pro- you think it's a full human, full human rights. Thing? If if they are like if they are cogent, yes. It's irresponsible to put them out in the world alone. You don't, think, there, you don't get, think they could be tenacious? They're going to get eaten by a rat. Think about Peter Pan. Tinkerbell is like the mover and shaker of Neverland. She gets shit done. She's magic. She's got wings. Is this fucking thing magic? I mean, Or is it a hide away in a pussy for its own <laughs> safety? <laughs> that doesn't sound magic. Who? <laughs> <laughs> You follow me? I do. I do follow you. Yeah. Hmm. You're I mean, just trying be... to be on the kid own human side. <laughs> I that is a side I generally like to be on. Yeah, but this is obvious this is an obvious exception. No I mean, one out there thinks that I'm comfortable with stewardship of tiny humans. Like Tomato Tomato. <laughs> Yeah, so for my for my envisioning, how is stewardship functionally different from owning? It's not. I th- it's just a nicer word. Yeah, that's all. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Yeah. Well, anyway, does that answer your question? That answers my question. Thank you. You're welcome. That was an easy one. <laughs> you rocked it. <laughs> Oh, all right, everyone. Listen, listen here. You, <laughs> I was like, you fucking people. <laughs> so aggressive. <laughs> I'm very appreciative if you've made it this far. I'm not mad at you. I don't know why I'm about to yell at you. Yeah. Um, c- C- could we... you just like aggressively plug? <laughs> just treat them like garbage? <laughs> we have a solid to ask you. Um, we would love to do this podcast for a living. We'd love to have you listen to us for years and years to come uh to make that happen uh there are several hundred of you who listen to this every single time we release and we appreciate you so so much um if you want to help the show and you want to help it keep going you want to help it grow the best thing you can do is tell somebody about it post it on your social media tell a friend tell your hairdresser your barber tell your secret boyfriend tell anybody that you think would enjoy the show um we're gonna we're giving up on largely posting to social media we hate it harper has a a, like a a thought account that she likes to post like cute animals and her butt on and stuff like that but beyond that we just if people like it they'll you guys will talk about it and if you talk about it it'll grow and that's how we'll know if it's good so if you think it's good enough to to live then uh, you guys telling people about it is the heartbeat of the show. So please, uh, anyone you think might enjoy it, please spread it around, tell them, play them your favorite episode, hold them down, tape their eyes open, show them your butthole, and <laughs> put on your favorite episode. I was wondering why their eyes had to be open to an audio show. I got it. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. I, I misjudged. Um, also, please give us a five star rating on whichever platform you're listening. It takes no time at all, and it's awesome to do. Do you know the people who do it? They have to listen to at least like one or two full episodes before before they can rate us. So anyone who's rated us less than five stars has like intentionally listened to like a couple episodes and then dogged us. I thought it was like you had to listen to a few minutes. Is that what it is? I think so. Well, it shows how much I listen to our show because it won't let me rate it. <laughs> I tried to sneak a rating in there on Spotify. Wouldn't let me do it. It let me do it. I gave us five stars. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Uh, what else? That's it. Thank you to our sponsor. Ba, 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 ba. What? You're looking at me like you're terrified. I, I just didn't know what that was. <laughs> Thank you to our sponsor. Thank you to our sponsor. We yes. had a sponsor this week. Yes, we did. If you'd like to I- sponsor the show, you can... Right uh, over at the email list uh, at dirtyfolk.com. You can sign up there and you can contact us through that um, or contact at dirtyfolk.com. Not going to lie, though. If it's not about sponsorship, generally speaking, I don't respond to emails. It's not personal. I I just 
this is how I talk to people. And then I basically go into the ether. Yep. Just hiding away. I am the elusive musif. Yes. It's <laughs> just how I roll. Don't take it personally. All right. Anything else? I don't think so. You look shell shocked. What happened to you? I'm okay. That that was just a whole ride. I condone slavery today. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> I just need to go reckon with myself. You put them to work. What the fuck are they gonna do? <laughs> They're, not... <laughs> They're a trinket. <laughs> <laughs> They're heaving popcorn kernels over to the kettle one That's by one. So stupid. That's what I'm saying. Popcorn. It's pointless. <laughs> It's just about power. <laughs> power and decor. Yeah. there. It would definitely be women who would own these mostly, I think. Nah, I'd have one. <laughs> would you have a male or female? A male. Yeah. Yeah. Why is that so obvious? I cannot think of a more pointless thing than a female <laughs> six-inch person. <laughs> I, I might get a female for my male. <laughs> But he would own her. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Good night. Good night. <laughs>